Gaffer, obviously in action again on Saturday against Crew, a side right up there battling at the top of the division. So, you must be looking forward to it in terms of looking at performances like Stockport and, and the likes to show the lads control the quality. Yeah, um, bumping the road the other night, we have to look over the course of 31 games and we're proud of the season so far. We can reflect well on good performances such as the one you've just mentioned at Stockport and use that as experience to lean into and uh, for belief. Um, really good test coming up. Uh, crew, uh, the top of the form table uh, over the last 10 games, uh, 20 points. Um, but we've accumulated the same amount of points and we're looking forward to the challenge. Yeah, and obviously, like you say, right up there in terms of, of form over that, that run. Mm. How difficult a, a challenge is it for you and, and Thursday and the likes to, to make sure the players learn the lesson from the other night, but they don't get too down and, and they stick to the plan, like you say, over the last 20 games or so have been right up there? Well, yeah, it's experiences in in uh, my career have shown me that I can try and rationalise over 750 plus games that um, you come across freak results and um, we contributed to that um, by probably getting ahead of ourselves, not in terms of attitude but positionally um, and they're punctures um, and they were ruthless in doing that, we picked the wrong team to do to do that uh, against um, the little nuances um, in terms of positions and shape, we can work on to eradicate those issues and, and be better for the experience in the long run. Yeah, and you spoke this season about the, the importance of, of the side being able to bounce back quickly. Do you think this is a, the, probably the, the biggest ad adversity they'll have to overcome in terms of, of the result the other night to, to try and get back to those levels straight away on Saturday? Uh, conceivably, yeah. Um, but we've had plenty of good experiences and that's what I mean about reminding the players just, just what they've achieved so far this season from a fancied team book his favourites to go down to being eighth, joint seventh is a is a fantastic achievement from the players and they've driven that and a way of playing that's been quite catching on the eye. So we we are proud of that. And a bump in the road doesn't alter anything. You know, we're looking forward to going to a really good football club and a great manager, a great guy. So, you know, it's um it's good to step back into action and get back in the ring straight away. Yeah, and obviously the times I is it you're looking to your senior players to sort of drive that bouncing back straight away and, and, mm. and be right at the forefront in terms of, of training and games as well. Yeah, that's right. Um, for anybody who knows that you you have to overcome. Um, you need the senior players, and I'm, I'm lucky really. We've got numerous uh, senior players that enable the atmosphere to to be good still. You know, in hard, hard times, but. Um, you know, all we lost was three points in my head, you know, and uh, a, a, a dent of pride for one day. Uh, but it's good to get back into training and a good day for it and a um, good challenge ahead. But, you know, we're backing the lads to, to come through it. Yeah, and crew as well. I say they can mix it up, you know, getting goals from set pieces from open play as well. So how important is it that the players are ready for all that facets of that challenge and, and to try and mount their own challenge as well when it comes to the situation? Yeah, we, we, we're aware, you know, they've got... Um, Good set piece delivery, long throws included, um, but a good movement, you know, from the full backs as well. They can go into midfield, play three at the back, four at the back. So we're aware of um, what challenges and uh, and the positives in their play, but um, but also we're aware of our strengths and and um, how we may overcome difficulties in in games and and problem solve. And you know, we'll we'll highlight those over the next couple of days and and then go at it, you know, with fresh minds. For Saturday. Yeah. You speak there about problem solving. Is there any problem solving for you in terms of, of injuries potentially impacting your team selection? Well, that was the one positive actually. No, no one was injured uh, the other night, so um, got a good, strong squad to choose from.